Hi, welcome to Be In The World Yoga. I'm Christina, and I'm going to take you through Beginner Yoga 101. This is a series of yoga poses that include sun salutations, warrior poses, tree pose, and I'm going to take you down onto the mat to some nice long stretches at the end of it some nice relaxing shavasana. And also if you can grab some blocks and a yoga mat, that would be awesome. So let's get to it. Okay, so we're gonna start off by warming up the spine. So we'll come to the top of our mat. I'll just model what we're going to do in the center here. And from here, take a nice inhale. Exhale, let your shoulders relax. <sighs> Two more times. Take a nice breath out through the mouth. <sighs> and one more. <sighs> Beautiful. Start to swing the arms. So you can take the feet hips distance apart to do this. Just opening up the spine here, warming up the body. Creating some movement in the body, getting ready to do something, increase range of motion, find peace of mind, feeling calm and relaxed, beautiful. And then taking yourself back to center, hands come to the top of your knees. We'll take some standing cat cows. Take an inhale, roll the shoulders back, peel your heart open, and exhale, round the spine, let your head drop in. Inhale, peel your heart open, gaze forward. Exhale, round your spine. So connecting breath to movement. Inhale, peeling your heart open. Exhale, rounding the spine. And one more time. Inhale, peel the heart open. Exhale, round the spine. Beautiful. And then we can stand up from here. We'll walk to the top of our mat if you're not there yet or mountain pose. You're taking your feet hips distance apart. Feet are underneath the, meet the hips here. Lift your toes up, spread them pinky toe down to the big toe. Balls of the feet press into the ground, heels of the feet press into the ground. Lift up through the inner arches of your feet. This is gonna ignite this line of energy through the midline of your body. It's gonna feel the upward movement of energy. Your feet are gonna root down towards the floor, the balls of the feet and the heels of the feet. That's gonna give you that downward movement of energy. And then from here, lift up your kneecaps, engage the tops of your thighs. Exhale. Inhale, lift the shoulders up, and exhale, melt them back and down. Extend the fingertips down to the ground. Take a nice inhale, crown of the head reaches up towards the sky. Exhale, root the feet. Two more breaths here. You can gaze your eyes at one point. This is called Dristi, and it helps to focus the mind. Gorgeous. Turn your palms out. And inhale, take the arms out and up overhead. Palms come together overhead. Exhale, bring the thumbs all the way down through center line of the body. Connecting breath to movement. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Palms come together. Exhale, prayer down through center line. Still feel the feet engaged. Inhale, palms together. Exhale, palms down through center line. Beautiful. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. And exhale, hinging at the hips, extend your fingertips out to the side for a nice forward fold. We could start to bend the knees, let the head go, and you can take your belly right on top of your thighs. Maybe the hands come to the floor. Take a few breaths here. You can have blocks set up here if you want to put your hands on top of blocks. Two more breaths, letting the head go. So as you're not looking forward here, you're letting your head drop. Beautiful. And then from here, we're gonna roll up the spine. So start to straighten the legs, take the tailbone down towards the floor and stack vertebrae on top vertebrae. 
Keep the chin tucked into the chest. Roll your shoulders back. And then the crown of the head comes up. That's the last thing to come up. Beautiful. Inhale. Arms reach and extend up overhead. Palms come together. This is called swan dive. Exhale. Hinge at the hips. Extend through fingertips here. As you forward fold over the legs, Uttanasana, soften your knees, let your head go. We'll inhale to flat back. So straighten up the legs, fingertips come to the floor, or if you'd like, they can come to blocks. Some of us also do hands to the shins here. So in the beginning, you can try to do hands to shins here. Sending your heart forward, take a nice inhale. See if you can make the back of the neck nice and long. And exhale, forward fold, bend the knees, let the head drop. We'll take two more of those. Inhale to flat back. Maybe hands come to shins or hands to blocks. Exhale, forward fold. Soften the hips, soften the knees. Inhale to flat back. Maybe fingertips are to the ground, depending on how open your body is feeling. Beautiful. Exhale to flat back. Grab onto the insides of your elbows. Let your head and your neck and your shoulders melt off of your body. Taking some breaths here. Gorgeous. Let's start to send the hips up to straighten out the legs. You can hinge from the hips and guide your head towards the ground a little bit more. Send your weight into the balls of your feet so that it's nice and even. Slight bend in the knees. Beautiful. And then from here, take an inhale. Let everything exhale out onto the floor, including the hands. So take a nice inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Gorgeous. We're going to roll up our spine vertebrae by vertebrae, taking the tailbone down towards the floor. You can soften the knees, keep the chin tucked into the chest as you roll all the way up the spine. Crown of the head is the last thing to come up. And moving into your mountain pose, start to root the feet into the floor again, lifting it through the inner arches. Beautiful. Lift up the kneecaps. Engage the tops of your thighs. Inhale, arms reach out and up overhead. You can look at the thumbs if you like. Exhale, swan diving forward to a nice forward fold, which is called Uttanasana. Inhale to flat back, Ardha Uttanasana. Remember, the knees can be bent here. And exhale, hands to the ground. Step your right foot back behind you, followed by your left. In a plank pose, we bring the shoulders over the wrist, and maybe the knees want to come to the ground now. Beautiful. Take a nice inhale. Draw the shoulders back and peel your heart open. Exhale. Bend the elbows. Let them skim the side of the body as you take the head down towards the ground. Untuck your toes so the toes are nice and pointed here. And start to take the hands a little bit lower towards the low ribs. Inhale, tailbone reaches down towards the floor as you peel the heart up. And exhale, press your hands into the ground to come up onto the knees. Tuck your toes and lift your hips up and back to downward facing dog. You can walk your feet into it. Maybe this is your first downward facing dog, and if it is, congratulations. It's a very popular pose. You can bend your right knee and let your left heel come down to the ground and switch to the other side. It doesn't matter if your heels come to the ground, it just more so matters how does it feel in your body here. So does this feel okay for you to let one heel come down? And it's also, are we opening up the back of our legs? That's really the purpose when we're doing this. Beautiful. And then from here, press your hands into the mat, take a nice inhale, send your hips up and back. Exhale, heels towards the ground. Now my heels are on the ground, but that doesn't mean my first day of practice they were. So they might be off of the ground. Beautiful. Take another inhale. Instead of looking towards your hands, make sure your head is relaxing between the arms here. 
and we'll talk more about more um, alignment in downward facing dog in my little short video how to do downward facing dog so you can go check that out beautiful and from here we're going to take a journey to the top of our mat so nice and slow step one foot at a time bend your knees get really low as you can to take the feet to meet the hands at the top of the mat and keep your knees bent here inhale to flat back exhale forward fold over the legs if you want grip onto the insides of the elbows shake out the head beautiful and soften your knees we're going to do a reverse swan dive now sending the hips down inhale extend the arms out and up overhead palms come together exhale prayer down the center line so that that was your first time doing it that was a lot it was a lot of opening up the body in the front part of the body and open up the body in the back part of the body so if you need to go grab some water now pause this and go grab some water you're perfectly welcome to do that you're perfectly welcome to take a moment to reconnect with the breath and reconnect with your mind at any time in a yoga practice so from here coming to mountain pose root your balls of the feet into the floor the heels of the feet into the floor spread through your toes pinky toe down to the big toe draw your thighs in towards one another and lift up the kneecaps inhale the shoulders move up to the ears and melt them back down turn the palms open soften the rib cage onto your body so the low rib ribs move onto the body inhale arms reach out and up overhead and exhale hinging at the hips forward fold you can bend the knees here again i'm just going to keep reminding you of that beautiful take an inhale to flat back maybe the knees are bent maybe the hands are on the shins exhale hands to the floor step the left foot back behind you followed by the right to a plank pose press the fingertips into the ground here as you send your heart forward lifting up through the low belly take an inhale exhale knees to the ground bend your elbows lower your heart down towards the floor Plank your toes, elbows hug the side body. Tailbone reaches down on the inhale, peel the heart up off the floor. And exhale, hands press onto knees, tuck your toes, downward facing dog. Walking your feet into your downward facing dog. Take three breaths here, pressing your hands into the floor to send the hips up and back. If the knees or the back of the legs are pretty tight, you can keep the knees bent here as much as feels comfortable. Take two more breaths. Beautiful. And you might offer yourself a smile here. The smiling helps us soften in any practice. Beautiful. And look to the top of the mat. You may walk your feet to meet the hands, start to send your shoulders over the wrist, or you may take your right foot forward, followed by the left. Inhale to a flat back. And exhale, fold over the legs. Soften your knees. Inhale, arms reach out and up overhead. Palms come together. Exhale, prayer down the center line. One more time, rooting your feet in mountain pose. Inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, hands to the ground. Step the right foot back, followed by the left plank pose. Fingertips pressing into the ground. Start to use, if you're going to stay in plank pose with the knees up, Send your shoulders over the wrist a little bit. Take your knees to the ground and then lower your heart down. The blocks are getting in my way. <laughs> Beautiful. And from here, point the toes, feel the heart open. Take two more breaths here. So you're gonna go up as far as that you can lift your hands up and you're not using the hands to keep you up. Beautiful. Take your hands underneath the shoulders again. Tuck the toes. Downward facing dog. Pressing your hands 
into the floor, lifting the hips up and back, walking yourself into it. You may want to shake out the head here to remind yourself to let go of the muscles of the head and the neck and shoulders. So in downward facing dog, we want to have our toes almost facing inward, so not the heels in, the toes almost facing inward, right? Just slightly. We want to maybe have the knees bent and press the hands into the floor to lift the hips up and back. Maybe the heels guide down towards the floor. And then the top parts of our arms are going to turn down away from each other. So opening up the shoulder blades. Take another inhale. Exhale, knees to the ground. We're coming into child's pose. That's our nice resting pose. If your belly's in the way, you could take your knees out to the side and take your forehead to the ground. Otherwise, take your legs together and forehead to the ground. Taking your hands back behind you towards the feet letting the shoulder blades melt away from each other. Take a few breaths here. And this is a great resting pose. And resting poses in yoga are so awesome because they help us to reconnect with the breath and refocus if we lose the mind a little bit, maybe the mind starts to get agitated. So we can come here into our child's pose to bring ourselves back to the breath, back to calming the mind. Now, of course, the yoga practice is meant to calm the mind, but sometimes we get a little bit uh, nervous <laughs> or energized, overstimulated. Inhale, arms reach up towards the top of your mat. Exhale. Inhale, come onto the knees, spread through your fingers, and tuck your toes. Take another inhale, lift the knees up off the ground, and exhale, taking your feet hips distance apart into downward facing dog. Shake out the head here, reminding yourself to let go of the tension in the neck. And if you would like, you could take a big step forward or walk your feet to meet the hands at the top of the mat. So left foot steps forward, followed by the right in a nice forward fold. Inhale to flat back, maybe fingertips are on blocks. And exhale, forward fold. Soften your knees, inhale, reach the arms out and up, reverse swan dive, palms come together. Exhale, prayer, thumbs to the third eye. And take a few breaths here. This is another way to Calm down the senses, taking your thumbs to your third eye, tapping into your intuition. And taking your hands down towards the floor. So we're gonna take our blocks and make them nice and handy for us. We'll walk to the center of our mat, so you may have to shift your yoga mat. And from here, we'll take feet more than hips distance apart. We're going to take our feet nice and wide here. Extend the arms. Now, they say that if you take your arms out, your feet should go right underneath your wrists. I don't know why they say that, but they say it. It may not happen for us today. Who knows? So from here, take your arms down. We're coming into our first warrior pose. Take your right foot and point it towards the front of your mat here. Take your hands onto your hips. Inhale, nice long spine. Exhale. You're gonna check out the back foot and see that your heels are in line with each other. Take a nice inhale and exhale. Right knee is gonna move right over the right ankle. So eventually you may have a very deep warrior pose. But for now, Listen to what this leg is telling you, how far it can stretch open, and even this leg too. Taking that right knee over the ankle, gaze forward towards the front of your mat. Inhale, extend your arms out for warrior two. We'll take three breaths here. I would love for you 
to gaze at your right fingertips and start to send your breath over your right fingertips here. So taking a nice inhale, exhale, soften your shoulders. Inhale, exhale, root the feet into the ground. Inhale, and exhale. Gorgeous. Bending your right elbow, we're gonna place that on the right thigh. Take that left hand, inhale it up towards the sky and then over your head. So your top part of your arm is going over your ear here. You're using your right forearm to press into your thigh so that you're not shrugging into it like this. Then you inhale, extending through the fingertips. So we're doing a nice extension from the, extension from the edge of the back foot all the way through the fingertips here. And this is called side angle pose. Back of the neck is nice and long. Take three breaths here. Beautiful. And from here, press through your front foot into the floor to rise up to warrior two. Parallel your feet for a moment and take a block. You're gonna place it behind your right shin. So right here, right behind that. Straighten through your right leg. Inhale, open up the arms, and gaze over your right fingertips. Beautiful. If the right knee is locking, then a little bit of a hinge, a little bit of a micro bend in the front knee. Take an inhale, and exhale, reach forward, sending your hips back behind you, it's the way I'm pointing to. Exhale, hand comes to the shin or to the block. And inhale, left arm reaches up to the sky. You can gaze up at the right thumb. Take a few breaths here. Feel your feet rooting into the ground. Spread through your toes. Feel that right hand pressing into the block to lift you up. And the left hand lifts you up to the sky even higher. One more inhale. And exhale, bend through your right knee, warrior two, gorgeous, soften the arms down, parallel your feet. We'll take it to the other side. So you could take your block with you, set it up already on the other side. Gorgeous. Okay, from here, check in with your heels again. You wanna have the right heel lined up with the left heel. So, so to turn your left toes towards the back of the mat, and tailbone's gonna reach down towards the floor. Lift up through your low belly here and brighten your heart up here. Inhale, bending through the left knee, gaze over your left fingertips. Take three breaths there. So finding that one point to stare at, which is called a dristi. Inhale, exhale, spread through the toes, press your feet into the ground. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Exhale, soften your shoulders. One more time, inhale. Gorgeous, exhale. Inhale, rise up, straighten that leg for a moment. Take the hands down, just to rest the shoulders for a minute and the, and the leg for a minute. Inhale, open up the arms again and take left forearm right on top of the left thigh Inhaling the right arm up and over. Check out the edge of your back foot. The toes should be pointed almost forward towards the back part of your mat or to the edge of your mat here. Beautiful. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over, using that left forearm to press into the left thigh. Reaching through the back foot, the right foot, all the way to the fingertips. Beautiful. Press through your left foot to rise on up. Open up the arms. Send your left hip back behind you and reach forward, forward, forward. Hand is gonna come to the block or the shin. A micro bend in the left knee if you have a locked knee. Inhale, right arm reaches up to the sky here. Maybe you look at the right thumb. If the neck hurts you today, 
can look down at the floor. Remember to press your left big toe into the ground. That's gonna energize the inner thigh and help keep you balanced. Take two more breaths. One more nice breath. Beautiful. Soften through the front knee. Exhale. Take your hands down and parallel your feet. Heel toe your feet together. Let's shake out the legs here. Gorgeous. And let's just swing the arms a little bit here. <sighs> Sometimes we can get stiff in the body while we're practicing new poses because we're trying to be, you know, that slight little perfectionist. Eventually we'll learn that it's okay to not be perfect. <laughs> And that'll be really fun. So from here, we're gonna come into a tree pose. This is a very fun pose, pose because it's a balanced pose. And it's pretty to look at and fun to do. So we'll come into our mountain pose. Take your feet hips distance apart. Lift your toes up and spread them. Pinky toe all the way down to the big toe. Start to guide your thighs in towards one another. Lengthen through a nice long spine. Take an inhale. Exhale, soften the shoulders. Hands are gonna come to the tip. <laughs> the tips, uh, hands are gonna come to the hips. It was hard to recover from that one. And from here, you're gonna step your right foot back behind you. I'm gonna mirror you, so I'll be on my left foot. So you're gonna step your right foot back behind you. Bend through the left leg and then from here start to rise up the foot it may come to the shin and you turn your right knee out to the side so hands are going to stay on the hips for stability find a non-moving object to focus your gaze at now if this feels like a little challenge then stay here or you can grab onto the ankle of the right foot and press it into the left thigh, which may get you a little wobbly. If you fall out of it, just come back into it. You can gaze one at one point ahead of you on the floor. You're gonna press your left thigh into your foot and your right foot into your thigh. Keep your hands on the hips for stability. Or if you wanna challenge yourself or challenge this pose a little bit more, you can take palms together at heart center, gazing at your dristi, your non-moving object, and use your breath here. Take a nice inhale, exhale. Two more breaths, inhale, exhale. You feel little movements of the foot, the standing leg, it's okay. Inhale, beautiful, and exhale. Take that foot down to the floor, shake out the left leg, Ooh, baby. <laughs> and we're going to switch to the other side. Hands come to your hips. Find your mountain pose. Nice long spine. And then from here, take your left leg back behind you. Bend your right knee. And take your foot either to your shin or to the inside of your right leg. You're going to press the right hip in towards the center line. And the right foot into the thigh, thigh into foot. Gaze at that non-moving object. Take palms together. And don't worry if you're moving around a lot, even the yogiest of yogis can have a wobbly day and it's totally fine. Those are times that we take that reflection to see what's happening today, what's causing me to wobble. Maybe I need a little rest. Who knows? We'll take three more breaths here. You can have the hands on the hips for stability. And exhale, take that foot down to the floor. Shake out the legs. Good job. Beautiful. So we're gonna take the feet hips distance apart for Utkatasana. This is called awkward chair pose. It's awkward chairs because chair pose because you're not really sitting on a chair. <laughs> you're just awkwardly standing as if you're about to sit on a chair. But it helps to um, 
warm up those thighs for you and strengthen the spine. So take an inhale, arms reach up to the sky. Send your weight onto the balls of the feet and the heels of the feet and exhale, bend the knees, bend your hips down. You can start to reach your, if this feels more comfortable, reaching your fingers forward or you can reach the arms up. Start to energize the thighs towards one another. Gaze at one point and take three breaths here. Pulling your belly towards the back of your belly or back of your spine. One more breath. And exhale, forward fold over the leg. Shake out your head. Gorgeous. Soften the knees. Inhale, arms reach out and up overhead. Palms come together. Exhale, prayer down the center line. Gorgeous. So we're going to come all the way down to the floor. And start to come into some nice stretchy poses. We'll start off taking the feet out in front of us, spreading through your toes. Take your hands, hips uh, in line with your hips, and press the hands into the ground. This is, we'll take a quick little staff pose to help to gain stability in the spine and also the muscles of the torso, transverse abdominis, pressing the hands into the floor. Gaze at one point, take a couple of breaths. What I also like about this pose is that it helps the spine hang a little bit here. So you're not lifting your hips up, but you feel that when you press your hands into the ground, that the spine can lengthen a little bit more. Beautiful. And then releasing. Take an inhale, reach the arms up overhead. You may want to take your feet hips distance apart. You may, may want your feet together. Exhale, hinging at your hips. You're going to reach for your feet. If it's too much, if it feels like too much of a struggle, take your hands to the floor and forearms to the ground. Or maybe just hands to the floor. Forearms might come to blocks. Inhale. And exhale. Soften the head, neck, and shoulders. We're going to take five breaths here. So hinging at your hips, inhale, lengthen your spine, heart reaches towards the toes, and exhale, hinging at the hips, soften, let your head go. Inhale, lengthen your spine, exhale, hinge at the hips, soften. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Exhale, hinge at your hips and soften. So we're not rounding the back. Inhale, lengthen the spine, maybe you reach for your feet. And exhale, soften to lower into the legs. Maybe your head stays up a little bit as you round. And we're just going to stay here. Take three nice breaths. Beautiful. Walking your hands back towards your body. Gorgeous. <laughs> and from here, I'm going to take the feet together, Baddha Konasana. Let the hips soften here. Maybe the hips feel very tight right now. You might take blocks underneath the hips, stacking them to whatever height feels good for you. And if they feel super high, don't even worry about it. If your blocks can't reach them, don't even worry about it. Just grab onto the ankles and work on lifting up through the spine. So everybody take a nice inhale and exhale. And if you, your hips aren't too high up, take an inhale and exhale, hinging at the hips. Take a few breaths. Gorgeous. And you may walk your hands forward. Take an inhale, lengthen your spine, hinge at your hips, and forward fold. Let your head, neck, and shoulders relax here.
Walking your hands back towards your body. We'll come to taking ourselves in the long part of our mat and make our way to bridge pose. Take your back all the way onto the floor, bending your knees. Take your hands on top of your belly here for a moment. Notice the breath. Beautiful. Have your feet come to hips distance apart. And just make sure that the knees are not going over the ankles here. Beautiful. And from here, you're going to press your feet into the ground. Lift your hips, keeping the tailbone nice and long. And start to clasp the hands underneath. Then we'll lift the hips up towards the sky, keep the spine nice and long, and start to draw your left shoulder under your chest, your right shoulder under your chest. Press the palms of the hands into the ground to lift the hips up, and take a few breaths here. Your thighs are gonna feel nice and energized, strong, moving towards the midline. Take three breaths. Beautiful. Take another inhale, pressing the hands into the ground. Release the hands and exhale, lower down the spine, all the way from the top part of your spine, all the way down through the tailbone. Beautiful. Take your knees together and heel toe your feet out to the edges of your mat. Take your knees together and windshield wiper the knees left to right. So just letting the knees go one way, the other way. Breathing. Beautiful. Heel toe your feet to hips distance. Take your right foot over your left leg. And we're going to needle and thread the hands around the left leg and start to bend, take the left foot off the floor, bending the left knee. Take a few breaths here. So this should feel like a nice opening in the right gluteus maximus and the right IT band. If you're feeling any pain at the right hip here, you might want to have those hips open first. That might not feel good for you. So take a few breaths here. Gorgeous. Take left foot to the ground, right foot to the ground, and now left ankle over the right leg. Needle and thread. Draw that right thigh towards your chest. Feel this nice opening. You shouldn't be sweating at this point. You should feel relaxed. So notice if you're pushing yourself a little bit too far. You might have been sweating throughout the other portion of the practice, but maybe the sweat's dripping down towards the ground now. Sorry for all the uh, sweat talk. Take a couple of breaths here. Gorgeous. Take your left leg and hug both knees into the chest. Inhale, both feet straight up to the sky. Take your palms to the ground and take a few breaths here. You can wiggle out through your toes if you like, maybe make some circles with the ankles. Inhale your arms up to the sky and then shake out the arms and the feet and the legs <laughs> and the hands. Gorgeous. And take your feet down to the ground. Take your hands back behind you. Take a nice inhale here. And exhale, slide the feet to the edges of your mat. Take your hands down to the sides of your body. Take your legs nice and wide. Turning the palms open, create a little bit of space between your body and the arms. Close your eyes. Take a nice inhale. We'll let out a nice sigh. Inhaling. <sighs> Beautiful. Take a few breaths here. Feel your 
upper body melting into your lower body. Your lower body melting into the ground. Notice your breath at the nostrils or maybe at the belly. And allow every muscle of your body to completely let go. So notice where there still feels like activity in the body. Maybe it's the feet, maybe it's the thighs, maybe it's the arms. Maybe it's the hands. Relaxing in your heart space. Relaxing in your body. Relax the muscles of your face. Softening the jaw. Softening the cheek. Softening the eye sockets. Unfurrowing furrowing the brow. Softening the forehead. The ears. And the crown of your head. Feeling the weight of your body sink into the ground. Follow the breath with your mind. Stay here for five more breaths. You're welcome to count them. Take a nice breath in to the belly. And exhale. <sighs> Wiggle for your fingers and your toes to awaken the body. You can start to move the legs, sliding the feet onto your mat. And take your knees over towards the right side. Come into the fetal position on the right side. Take a moment there to pause. And press your right hand, or your left hand rather, into the floor to come all the way up to a nice seated cross-legged position. Your eyes are closed. Notice how your body feels. If it feels nice and long, if it feels more open. Take your palms together to heart center. Give yourself a nice smile for beginning yoga. Beautiful. We're going to seal our practice with the sound of home. Take a nice inhale. Oh. Take the thumb.
comes to the third eye. The light in me is honored by the light in you. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing in your yoga practice with me today. And please remember to share, like, and comment, and also subscribe to us on our YouTube page so that we can give you more wonderful content like this. And also, please check out our website, beingtheworldyoga.com. We have a great blog there and just wonderful information to share with you. Have a nice day. Namaste.